another pretty fresh tree blocking the road. In my book, um, Forest Around, Forest Lake is about the splotchiest I've ever laid my eyes on. We have up uh, Payson Canyon in that area. It's pretty splotchy, but I don't know, something about this one is a little different. Maybe a little more like the Northwest or Colorado, perhaps, or more pine trees, I guess. Sounds like there's a vehicle coming this way, so I'll go ahead and cut the film here. Yeah. Look at that. It wasn't even... It was a drag out there. At least I do not see where it came from, really. <laughs> and it's just been hauled out. Blocking this uh, camper spot. Everything's pretty green, so it's fresh. This is probably an older one over here that they drag out once upon a time. But yeah, fresh. Your typical fresh tree <clears throat> blocking uh, another camp spot. Worst Lake. Starting to get dusk out here. There's quite a few leans together. Wow. Definitely don't want someone going in there, it looks like. on the hike to Forest Lake up American Fort Canyon and the trail looks kind of like a stream right now with all of the winter snow melt runoff and that's all for now
So all along this route to Forest Lake, there's a tremendous amount of debris, trees, some of them many fresh trees with uh, greenery that have been snapped and you can tell the Forest Service is having to work to clear it out so it's not blocking the track or the I guess I say track in Australia the trail <clears throat> but uh, right up here is something interesting and let's see if I can get up there kind of reminds me of um, again uh, the uh, Colorado Sasquatch uh, stuff because this is pine trees it's really steep so I'm going to turn this off for a minute Okay, so maybe this formed through gravity only because it is a steep incline, but uh, the way they're jumbled up though, not so sure about that. And up here is something more, over here we have another something, and let's see if I can uh, venture over to all of those. So yeah, and you know it could be naturally done by nature. <clears throat> Not so sure though. Some of these like this one over here. That one looks like it's thrown because it's not really near <clears throat> the base is not anywhere near the ground. It's almost right out over the trail, almost. <clears throat> but these other ones, yeah, a lot of them, this one obviously tore out of the ground. This did. <clears throat> so some others, it's less sure bet that they went out of the ground. Like this one, well, it's hard to tell. Anyway, still haven't made it to the lake yet. It's kind of interesting. This is like this is on top of the hill. Over here. So yeah, if I had more time I'd, I guess I'd go up there, but it's late and I need to get to the lake. Some small tracks. Here's my foot. Oh, sliding in the snow. All just, uh, you know, they're real small, they're pretty close together, kind of wide. You could have melted out that way. Um, don't really see much indication of toes except for maybe this one, but it could be just an optical illusion or something. Anyway.
So here's a, you know, a perfect example. You can just see the tremendous amount of brakes and everything they've had to clear out of the way here, lining the whole trail. Uh, even up further here. They've had to uh, cut these. You know, all this greenery, it's pretty fresh here. More stuff they just constantly having to clear out of their way, looks like. A razor thin uh, film there for uh, the ice melting. Okay, so I'm just off the trail, trying to regain my composure because I'm out of breath. But, you know, a train like this looks pretty sasquatchy squatchy to me. If I were to head up there more at that time, I was planning on going somewhere else, but I ended up going over here late in the day, so once again, I don't have enough time. But, yeah, all sorts of stuff off in that way. And to top it off, look down here. 
footprint. And this one looks like, I don't know, to me it looks like a new tarsal break or something. Right there. You can almost see like a section where the toes are kind of roughly new tarsal break and then the rear. I don't know, maybe it was something else, like over here, you see a, a double thing, maybe it just used to be two of them, it, I don't know, and it just uh, melted out. Here's my foot in comparison. So it looks impressive, I don't know. <laughs> now that I look at this over here, I'm just wondering if it melted that way. And it, yeah, it might have fooled me. Probably just melted. <laughs> anyway, you have to be observant. Okay, yep. So this is the condition of the road in uh, June this year. Forest Mountain, I mean Forest Lake Trail. You can see how much snow and mud there is, water. This is a snowy stretch I've seen. There's been a lot of running water uphill. This forest road is really, to me, a lot more like a hiking trail because of the quality of it or lack thereof. Here's kind of a nice peaceful spot. It looks like people would have camped here. Yeah, there's a camping area. Tree lanes, of course, but uh, let's push onward. So there's about a three foot hole in the trail right there. And we have this water ravine, or whatever you want to call it. Safest bet is probably to go up through here on the side right now. Okay. So the lake's right over there, but I'm going to take this detour up here for a moment. So some of this was clear cut once upon a time. Anyway, we have a bunch of ancient timber just strewn everywhere. But there are tree lanes.
this used to be a lake at one time. It's kind of a depression, it's flat. <laughs> Just a meadow with uh, not much in the way of grass even. I'm sure the snow just melted off of it not long ago. So I made it to the lake pretty much. I have to just turn around now though. Out of breath here. Okay, here's the other side of that. Got through it. I guess you could call this a wall. Sorry, it's so dark. But uh, entry lanes, debris of trees decorating the forest floor everywhere. Oops, sorry about that noise. Try to be more quiet. Tree lanes everywhere. So if you see a structure, I mean. Uh, <laughs> more organized structure, but I failed to see one. Maybe, I don't know, could be a multiple reasons for that. Even though this is a really remote area in America Fork Canyon, America Fork Canyon is very well visited by human beings on ATVs and everything. <clears throat> they didn't used to have, you know, ATVs in the 70s or whenever. But, I don't know, you would think they'd even have an old structure around here somewhere that's more organized looking. Haven't found it yet, but I... Maybe someone will eventually, if there is one. I just, again, don't have much time and I have to leave here pretty soon. So this one looks weird. I can almost see what look like toes up here. I don't know, is it a rear end of a black bear, or is it something else? Here's my foot. Around here, fences are regularly busted like this as well. I've seen, you know, there's at least three places I know where, you know, they have just, oh, well, all over the place. Here's another one right here. Yeah. Huh, what's this? Okay, I guess this is humans. Yeah. Interesting. Aspens there. Not sure if that's a gunshot or just her. So those are nailed together with really big nails.